Well, I did get my Crossfire Pro. Finally assembled, finally had the time to cut a couple pieces. I do like their initial height sense. That is an incredible improvement over, as you can see over here, I had these sensors on my original Crossfire and they work great until you get them very hot, piercing um, thick steel. So I would have to replace them every once in a while. This is going to be a much more robust way of sensing initial pierce heights. Um, I was testing it out here on some 10 gauge and testing out the um, the torch height control. As you can see, this particular sheet is very bent and warped, which is just what I needed to cut out some of these wire tray splices. And I was very impressed with with how the torch with how the torch height control behaved. And um, that was my very first cut with torch height. I've been playing with a few other cuts. Without the torch height control enabled. And I um, also would like to give a shout out to Langmuir for designing this amazing fire control software. Very, very impressed with that software. Um, I did bring over my custom-made laptop stand simply because I do drawing on this computer as well sometimes and I don't like to do CAD without a mouse. I probably could do a little bit more cable management. There you can see my torch height control uh, voltage box. My Hypertherm 85 does have a voltage divider card in it and the CPC port. So. Over here you see power coming to it um, and my mounted an outlet right there so I can power my box and my laptop. So yeah, the next videos that I post, if I ever get around to doing that, will be coming from the Crossfire Pro. First impressions, very amazing. I could have probably assembled it in a few hours if I would have not been interrupted as many times I was, but I expect this to be every bit as amazing as a machine as the original Crossfire.